Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're going to do five knives that look like katanas. Folding knives, pocket knives that look similar to katanas, kind of like this. Now, this is not one of the, the five, and I know this is probably the, the, the most resembled to a katana, but this is the React K2. These are very difficult to get. You might be able to find them on Knife Joker. Every once in a while, they do come in many different options, lots of different options. This is the one that looks the most like a katana because of the diamond-shaped milling, which is really, really nice. I love the React K2. One of my favorite Reats. Beautiful grind. We have a hollow grind here and then a flat grind up here on this Tonto. It is S35VN. Beautiful, beautiful knife. The action is so good. The detent and flipping action is perfection, perfectly centered. But what do we have? Now, I'm going to show, like I did that one, a couple other knives that are not also on the list, like the new Bob Terzola Civivi. Now, this is not a folder. This is a fixed blade, but this is... It was supposed to be designed as a fighting knife from Bob Terzola by Civivi, the Civivi Tamashi. I think is how it's pronounced, but it has a straight back blade similar to a Japanese Tonto. Micarta handles. It is, um, it's got, uh, oh man, it's, it's sandwiched together on the handles. You can barely see the seam right there. Very comfortable in the hand. It is a little slick though, um, but it does have little spots for traction. But yeah, this is, a. Uh, a somewhat newer offering from Civivi, and it does come with a tech lock. This was the tech lock was originally uh, designed by Bob Terzola. So Bob Terzola is a a huge part of this community. So the knife community, awesome, awesome retention, great knife. So just wanted to show that really quick. The steel is D2 steel. Now. Let's get to some of the options, and then we have one more at the end that I think is going to be pretty awesome and is a great example of a folding uh, katana. First, the Concept Hazakura. Now, this one comes, it comes in multiple different options. This is the most premium option, but they do have a carbon fiber option. They have a budget option. Lots of options with the Hazakura. They even have um, one that is a little bit different blade shape, I believe. If I'm not, um, I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure they have one that has more of a similar um, original Japanese Tonto, but... This one is very similar. We have their powdered steel 9CR Damascus, titanium frame lock, titanium milled pocket clip, and then we have a Timascus inlay that is very beautiful. Looks really good. It really makes this pop with the Damascus. The action, super smooth. This feels like it's on oiled glass. Not that it's like complete false shut action, but you do not feel the bearings at all. The flipping action is really good. It has a minimal flipper tab. Nice and centered. The flipper tab is very minimal though, but the detent is, it's not light, but I can fail it. However, with any effort whatsoever, it's going to flip with authority. So the flipping action, I think is incredible. It's great flipping action. And when you drop it, with just a little bit of encouragement, it drops all the way. Nice and slim in where the blade goes into the handle very nicely. It looks really good. Next, more of a budget option, the Kaiser Lan. Now, this also comes in more of an Americanized Tonto. This is more of a Japanese-style Tonto. Or, you know, you can consider this a drop point if you want. But it has a dual grind. We have a hollow grind here and a flat grind up here, kind of like the React K2. Nice and thin behind the edge right here. We have frag patterned micarta scales. Deep carry clip that is adjustable on both sides. And it is complete fall shut action. This has an amazing detent. You can also reverse flick it. Very snappy. The, the blade still is N690. 
The access to the lock bar is really good. The blade seats nice and tight inside the handle. You can see it a little bit though because you need to be able to get to that groove for the reverse flick. Jimping rides up the blade really nicely. Lots of traction there and it's actually pretty comfortable jimping. But the Kaiser Lan. Next we have another Tonto, obviously. The, come on and focus, the Rake m 126 tz now i believe they have a budget version of this but this is the titanium version so we have 154 cm blade steel and it has a titanium frame lock with a steel lock bar insert and then this is an extra lock so you don't accidentally disengage it if you're twisting and things like that where your hand might twist and accidentally unlock it but the lock is very uh, secure no problem with the lock the it does have the 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 guard on both sides so you can kind of sit back here without sliding up the blade i'm not a big fan of this one but i understand it the flipping action and detent really snappy not fall shut action but it is very smooth on its ceramic caged bearings so it drops pretty good good access to the lock bar and it does have a deep carry clip the clip is steel though I do wish they would have done a titanium one and then a G10 backspacer. No milling on the inside, but the weight is not bad. It is nice and slim. The blade seats nice and deep into the handle. And you can see through the pivot, by the way. Nice, strong hardware, nice, strong pivot. And yeah, great detent, like I said. Now, you cannot use this as a front flipper. I know some people are probably wondering, can you front flip it? No, you can't. Next, next we have the Concept Prickle. The Concept Prickle. Now, this comes in many different options as well, including two different blade shapes. Um, they have one with uh, kind of like a jagged tanto. It's pretty cool looking. I'll throw a picture up. But it is a front flipper, which this is a very well done front flipper. The front flipper works great on these. And like I said, there is multiple different options of this. This one is the S35VN copper version with a titanium clip. Steel liners, titanium clip, co copper um, scales. So you can patina this if you want to and turn it into blue or green or something like that. But man, this front flipping action is really, really good. The jimping is good jimping. I do wish it, they would have went all the way up to the top, but it's still because it the front flipper hangs up so high it's still easy to get to you can do all the little tricks with it it's very easy in my opinion to wrap your finger around and grab it the fuller you cannot use though but very neutral ergoed the grips or the grip on it is very neutral lots of jimping up the spine so you have lots of traction points depending on where you want to hold it the blade works really good if you did want to do some detailing work with it. Access to the lock bar is really good. The clip works great in and out of the pocket. It is not reversible, though. Very smooth on the drop. The detent is nice and early, especially since it doesn't have a uh, tab in the way right here. You can just go right past. Very smooth. And like I said... Lots of different options with this one, including different blade shapes. Really quick, just to throw one more in there, because you guys know I like to throw extras. This little boker also reminds me of a little katana. This is small, though. It's very tiny. It's kind of more of a letter opener or like a CEO-style knife. Deep carry clip. It has like this fish scale pattern on the G10. And it has a very minimal flipper. Look at that flipper. You just put your finger on there and drag down. Snaps out really good. We have a straight back blade. And D2 steel. The pivot is nice and big. The pivot collar, I'm sorry. Good access to the lock bar. It is smooth, but it's not fall shutty. Super snappy, though. But it's so slim, compact, and small. It's something you could throw right in your pocket and it would look like a pen. It would definitely look like a pen. 
But I just wanted to show that really quick. I think it's pretty cool. And it does kind of remind me of a little tiny mini katana. <laughs> next, and then the, the, the next one, actually, there's two different versions. And then we'll get to the, the last knife, which is not on this list. So this is the last knife on the list, aside from the last one I'm going to show. We have another concept. This is the concept... Fusa. Now the concept Fusa does come in different options like um, burlap micarta. I'm not a huge fan of burlap micarta, but it does come in that option. It has a, a round flipper tab that works great. This, I think sometimes, depending on how they do it, but if they do it right, these little round flipper tabs work great. This thing is super snappy. Works great. Nice, strong detent, but the flipper tab is nice and comfortable. So you can push button it or light switch it, whichever one you want. The action is nice and false shutty. The detent is also nice and early, so you can easily get past it. Straight back Tanto blade. Nice tall flat grind. This one's a stone washed. This one has the coating. And the blade steel is 154 cm. 154 cm. This one is just um, natural micarta, black micarta. I, um, I forget the name of this micarta, but it's um, black micarta. Deep carry clip, not reversible. But very cool. In the hand, it is pretty comfortable. I feel the clip quite a bit, but it's not too bad. And it has, you know, a nice long area here for push cuts. And then you can use the secondary tip for opening things up. This tip's not going to be very good at utility use, but, you know, for puncturing things, it might be okay. And it's going to be a somewhat durable tip. Good access to the lock bar, though. Um, beautiful knife. And, again, the blade seats nice and tight into the handle. Let's get to the last one, which in my opinion is the most similar to a katana, and that is the Rockstead Higo. Beautiful blade. Now, maybe not the drop point. I know a katana is more of a tanto, but I can't help but think that this thing, because it's Japanese, because this is made in Japan by artisans that that you would think of that would be making samurai swords and things like that and katanas and, you know, just those type of blades. These are the same people that would have been making it. This is heat treated to, to about 67 HRC, ZDP 189, mirror blade, super sharp. Not um, false shutty, but mine has gotten so smooth because... Uh, you know, after a while they do break in. They usually come somewhat tight, but the lockup is rock solid. They have nice thick spines on them. And if you don't know about this knife, this is a very, very expensive knife. And it is for the most prestigious collectors, I guess you could say. And you really have to understand knives and what goes into a knife to really understand why this thing is so expensive and to understand why somebody would pay this much for this type of work. Because a lot goes into making a rock stud. And this is something that, you know, like old Japanese uh, sword makers and knife makers, um, you know, this is kind of like... Uh, their their lineage who makes these and they make it to the highest standards so especially with their heat treats and hrcs they bring their steel to the highest extreme you can for a blade steel awesome awesome knife extremely smooth feels like it's on oiled glass and mine comes with a sheath. Some of them have clips. Mine does not. But there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.